the internet has been really integral mm -hmm. to me on the L word. And over the years, it's become more prevalent in the way that I consider storytelling. Um, when we started making the L word back in, I can't tell you, but the early 2000s, um, the internet wasn't what it is now. And I remember that my first reaction was a kind of, you know, a getting my back up reaction. You know, as people started going online and talking about the show, I said, I don't need to read this. You know, there were a lot of people who work in film and television, and especially in television because it's an ongoing medium, who said, I can't listen to the fans and what they want because that takes away from me as a creator. It ruins the purity of my vision. It's not what I do. My job is to tell stories, and their job is to listen to my stories. And my stories wouldn't be as good if I took all that input, and they wouldn't be as pure. I started out more or less in that place and over the course of maybe two years I came to understand that that was completely wrong hmm. and irrelevant and it would make me irrelevant as a maker of television. We never heard an idea online and said that's a great story let's tell it mm -hmm. but we heard where the L word fans were and what they were passionate about and what made them angry and what they wanted. There's no question and I've admitted this before that fan sentiment that was expressed everywhere, but was expressed intensely online, had a lot to do with Bet and Tina getting back together. And I didn't necessarily know that they had to be together. And at a certain point I came to know that it was the right story decision to make, not just to appease a few mm -hmm. people who were, you know, making all kinds of threats towards me, but because it was the right story to tell and it became kind of in the DNA of the show and the conversations that went on around it. I would also say that the ultimate story we told of Jenny's death came out of the same process. Oh, really? Huh. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Jenny was a character who inspired really intense feelings on both sides right. of the fence. Some people loved her, but then there were those people who just constantly said, could she be run over by a bus, please? And it also started to be reflected in the way that the characters in the show, that the universe of the L word, reacted to Jenny. Mm -hmm. We didn't mm -hmm. do it necessarily knowingly, but Jenny provoked everyone in the way that she provoked her fans mm -hmm. until we got to the point where we said, you know, any one of these characters has a motive. Mm -hmm. And that became a story for us.